Well, hey, good morning, Renew Church. Thanks for joining our Renew stream. My name's Pastor Wade. I am Pastor Mitch. Nice. Uh, Thanks for joining with us. We just have a few announcements to run through this morning, like always, before we get into some worship. The first is, hey, uh, Renew Kids um, is running this morning. Hopefully you got to uh, catch the premiere um, during our pre-service. But as always, you can find the link on our uh, webpage. You can also find it on our YouTube page. And now it's up for the rest of the day and for the rest of the week. So you can go back and watch it anytime. It looks a little different this week just because of scheduling and and stuff like that. So, uh, um, but all the, the, the whole Renew Kids team will be back next week making the video for you guys. So uh, be looking for that. The next thing is um, our youth group. Maverick, we have a community cleanup coming up on November 14th in the early afternoon, and you need to sign up for it. There's two locations for you to sign up, and if you're a parent or a student in Maverick and you don't have the sign-up form, you should have you should have it in your emails, but if you don't have it, please email jake at renewchurch.ca so you can sign up for it um, so we can get you connected to that. So two locations, November 14th, early afternoon, we're going to be doing a community cleanup with Maverick. The next thing is a big night out. we got big night out coming up, Mitch. Are you excited? I am. It's going to be tons of fun, and we're going to have some baptisms. Yeah. we have. Ha- how many baptisms do we have? Three right now. Three right now yeah. and counting. Yeah. Hey, it's yes. still, still not too late to sign up for baptism. If you're interested in for baptism, uh, email Pastor Mitch, mitch at renewchurch.ca, so you can get connected to that. We have two services, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, but you have to sign up. Um, we we want to make this fun. We, we want to get together. It's one of the few times we can actually get together. Everything's going to be safe. All the protocols are going to be followed. Uh, but we want to worship with our church family. So sign up for that November 15th, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Go to our website, sign up, invite your friends, invite your Renew group, invite your family. Let's make Big Night Out great. Um, uh, last but not least, we want to uh, we want to um, pray for Remembrance Day. So, Pastor Mitch. Yeah. Um... This Wednesday is November 11th, um, and uh, on that day in particular, but all around that day, we, we wear poppies to remember those who have served for our, our country and, and helped to win the freedom that we enjoy. So we want to pray for that this morning. We want to say, Lord, uh, we pray in remembrance for all of those people. We don't forget um, what has been done for us to be able to live the way that we live. And some people gave up the ultimate sacrifice of their life by um, um, fighting and, and dying for uh, our freedom. But in addition to that, we also pray for the many people back then whose lives were torn apart because their loved ones were at war and they waited at home and hoped to see those people again. Kids who grew up uh, without their dads because their dads were at war and maybe never came home. We pray for peacekeepers and people who, um, who want to keep us out of war and fight so hard for us to be peaceful. Um, and today, it's very relevant to pray for anybody who believes that our world uh, can be better. And whether they fought for that or today, whether we're um, working towards that, we just pray for peace in our world, Lord. And we thank you so much on Remembrance Day for all of those who suffered and died for our freedom. And in, in Jesus' name, we, we pray. Yeah, well, thanks for, for praying for that, Mitch. I would actually, um, I didn't grow up in Canada. So I was just wondering, is there any, uh, do you have any um, memories of like traditions or anything that you would do around this time? Well, when I, when I was a kid, which was a while ago, um, and Remembrance Day was actually a, a, a statutory holiday. Oh, okay. And I think it still might be in some provinces in Canada. Wow. It hasn't been in Ontario for a long time. But, you know, when I was a kid, it was great because it was a day off. But we always, in addition to having the day off, we always had a celebration of some sort. Whether uh, we always, at, at 11 11, um, we paused for a moment of silence. And um, that um, was always a tradition. It's, it's one that's faded away a little bit, but if you think about it this Remembrance Day, at 11.11, pause for a minute and take a second to remember those who have fought for our country and for our freedom and, and given the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, it's always great to appreciate our freedom and show respect to those that uh, paid the ultimate sacrifice for us to be able to enjoy that.